Muy buenos días para todas las personas que se están uniendo a nuestra sesión informativa con University of Sheffield. Mi nombre es Karen Martínez, soy integrante del equipo de Consejería Académica y Relaciones Internacionales de Cofuturo y el propósito fundamental y el objetivo general de esta sesión es brindarles a todos ustedes aquella información fundamental para que puedan encaminar sus planes y proyectos de estudio si eh, su propósito es llevar a cabo un posgrado en esta institución académica. Queremos contarles también que iniciamos agosto con una gran variedad de webinars informativos para todos ustedes, así que si tienen interés en conocer las universidades del Reino Unido e Irlanda con las que Colfuturo tiene convenio, todo este mes estaremos realizando sesiones eh, como esta para brindarles la información necesaria. El día de hoy nos acompaña Kate, ella es representante de esta institución y pues nos brindará información súper valiosa acerca de temas como la oferta académica, la financiación, procesos de admisión, becas y demás recomendaciones generales para todos. Eh, en adición abordaremos claramente eh, información relativa al convenio que tiene Col Futuro con esta universidad que consta específicamente de un descuento del 20% sobre el valor de la matrícula para todos los beneficiarios de Col Futuro y adicional dos becas de 7000 euros para dos estudiantes admitidos en facultades como la de Artes, Humanidades, Ingeniería, Medicina, Odontología y Salud y Ciencias Sociales. So, Kate, um, thank you so much for being here, so you can uh, go ahead and start your presentation. Thank you so much. So, uh, welcome everybody. I thank you for being here uh, today. Uh, my name is Kate. As Karen said, I am the Regional Manager at the University of Sheffield, and I support students who are coming over from the Americas to study with us. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about um, Sheffield as a city and what you can expect, um, and then a little bit about the university itself. And then I'm going to talk to you about scholarships and funding options, including our scholarships um, that are part from our partnership with Golfo Juro, and then there'll be time at the end for any questions that you have. So I wanted to start with some information about Sheffield as a city, because you may never have heard of Sheffield before, and you may not have visited us. So this is giving you some context about where in the UK we are. So Sheffield is based in the middle, Um, of this landmass here, so England in the south and Scotland in the north, and then over to one side you have Wales. Sheffield is in the north of England, so we are about two hours on the train to London, the capital of England, and we're about an hour on the train to the nearest international airport, which is Manchester International Airport. And if you do come to study with us, we do a meet and greet service that will meet you at Manchester Airport and bring you over to the university and help you get settled in when you arrive. It's really great position in the UK because it allows you to travel easily around all of the rest of the country. So from Sheffield, you're very close to a lot of other cities. You can travel up into Scotland or down into the south of England. Um, Public transport in the UK is reasonably inexpensive and it's very safe. So it's a really good opportunity for you to explore more of the country. And then of course, to use uh, the inexpensive airlines to travel and explore the rest of mainland Europe as well. So Sheffield is the fourth largest city in the UK. But the actual city centre is relatively small. So this is really great because it means that you can feel at home in Sheffield very quickly. Your students usually say that within a few weeks, they feel very comfortable, they know where everything is, and they settle in really, really quickly. And we have excellent public transport around Sheffield. So from the train station, we have trams that run around the city. There are obviously lots of buses and there are also taxis if you want to use them. But most students coming to study at Sheffield walk because everything is very close by. So in the center of the map, in the slightly paler section, you can see that's all the university campus. So the university is a city campus, and that's brilliant because it means that if you're wanting to work part-time or you're wanting to live in private accommodation in the city, it's very easy to wander on and off campus and to eat lunch, to go to the cinema, those kinds of things. So everything is very accessible for you. 
And from the train station to the campus is about a 20 minute walk. And then from the center of campus to the furthest edge of campus is again about 20 minutes. So it's very easy to walk around and the weather is very temperate. So it's very easy to get about. Three things that I wanted to um, highlight about Sheffield. So when I was applying for universities, I applied and I studied at the University of Sheffield. And these are three of the things that I really liked about it. So first of all, we are the third most affordable student city in the UK. So we're a very affordable option, gives you really excellent quality education for a very reasonable price. So you're getting um, a lot for your money. So in terms of your living costs and your your day-to-day -day costs, um, Sheffield is very inexpensive. We are actually 10% um, cheaper than the national average um, and 30% and cheaper than living in London. So it's a very good option for everyone. We're also the greenest city in the UK. So we have the most parks and gardens um, per population of any city in the UK. And we are part of the Peak District National Park. Okay, so uh, apologies for that, everyone. Um, hopefully you can see and hear me okay again now. Um, so as I was saying, the University of Sheffield is ranked 105th in the world. And we are a member of the prestigious Russell Group. Um, so this is a group of UK universities that are very research intensive. So the benefit of that for you is that we get a large amount of research funding every year that we reinvest into the campus and the facilities that you'll be using. So um, also your teachers, are the academics that teach you, they are at the front of their field, they are active researchers. So um, you'll always be learning the most up-to-date information using the best facilities that will help you after you graduate transition really easily into the workforce. So 92% of our research is rated as world leading or internationally re recognized. And this year we were voted the um, University of the Year in the What Uni Student Choice Awards. So that's a very prestigious award that happens in the UK. And we're really pleased that our students voted us as the University of the Year. So we are very passionate about our teaching excellence at Sheffield and we've won a lot of awards for our teaching. We attract around 30,000 students every year that come to us from over 150 diverse um, to be one of the top 50 most international universities in the world. So 40% of our students are international and 33% of our staff are also international. So a big reason that so many of these students come to study with us is our reputation for teaching excellence. We are a top 20 in the UK for teaching. And as I said, all the academics that you'll be working with, you'll be learning under, they are world-renowned academics in their field. So they're constantly updating the curriculum. Um, so hopefully you can hear me okay again. So we have 35 departments at the university that are spread across five different faculties. So you can study under the faculties of science, engineering, health, which includes medicine and dentistry, arts and humanities, and also social sciences. So we have a huge number of subjects that you're able to study with us. And I've just listed here some of the options that you could choose, but we have a much wider range of subjects than these alone. But many of our international students and our students from Columbia choose to come and study um, accounting, engineering, data science, also journalism studies, psychology, there's a huge range of subjects, as you can see there on the screen. So for the entry requirements, you'll usually need a four to five year bachelor's degree from a recognized university in a relevant subject to your course. And for most postgraduate courses, you'll be required to have between um, a two, or the equivalent of a UK 2.1, 
which is a 3.8 out of 5. Um, some courses do accept a 2.2, so that would be a 3.6 out of 5, um, and that's your grade in your bachelor's degree. And then you'll also be asked to present um, a English language qualification. So for example, an IELTS with a 6.5 um, overall and a six in each component. Um, but we do accept a wide range of English language qualifications. So it doesn't need to be an IELTS. Um, it could be TOEFL, it could be lots of other um, exams that we accept. And you don't need to have those qualifications to apply. So you could go ahead and apply with um, without these final grades, without your final bachelor's degree, and you don't need to have done your English language test already. You can go ahead and apply to us called a conditional offer, which will be conditional on you meeting those final requirements. So um, you can go ahead and apply without those things in place from us because of course you um, want to do. So um, that's what we're very passionate and focused on. So we are a top 20 university targeted by graduate employers. 96% of our graduates are in work or further study within six months of graduating with us. And we have a top five career service in the UK as voted for by our own students. So um, the careers service will regularly invite employers onto campus to meet with students in your field and talk about what they're interested in looking for in a prospective employee. They also will help you with your resume, with your CV, um, help you with interview practice and a range of other different things. Um, you are able to work part time while you're studying in the UK. So you can work for up to 20 hours per week while you're studying. And that can be a really good option to get some work experience and make some extra money. And then you, the career service can also support you for your post degree employment. So that would be um, if you choose to stay in the UK after you graduate and to work, the career service can help you with that. Or if you choose to return to Colombia or go elsewhere in the world, you can still use the career service for the rest of your life once you graduate. So that's a really excellent resource to have to be able to help you network with future employers um, and to build those connections. In terms of your social life while you're at university, so our students union um, has been voted the number one in the UK for I think seven years in a row now. So um, the students union is like the heart of the campus. This is where you'll do a lot of your socializing and also your support services are here. So it's run by students for students and the students union contains advice and guidance offices such as the visa advice team, um, housing advice, if you run into any financial issues, um, if you need any kind of paperwork or validation sorting out to do with your degree certificates, all of that happens at the Students' Union. It also has shops and bars. We run our own student club nights. There is also a cinema. Um, so lots of things going on. And uh, the Students' Union is open all the time, right at the heart of campus. So lots of students will go there to relax, to enjoy themselves and socialize. Um, and lots of events take place there as well. And you will graduate here um, after you've studied with us at Sheffield. So there is a really strong support network at Sheffield, helping students to adapt. We obviously have a long history of welcoming students to the UK. So we have lots of advice and guidance. You'll have support within your academic department, in your residences where you're living. Um, there's also extra advice and guidance available if you need help from our study skills center for things like statistics or anything um, like presentation skills or um, essay writing in English. All of those things are available for you and it's all free of charge. We have over 350 different clubs and societies at the university that you can participate in and sports facilities on campus, including a fully equipped gym and sports pitches. 
So um, you will obviously be with us, um, you know, living your life in Sheffield. It's important to get involved in all of the social aspects of university. So we do have a Latin American student society that you may want to join, but then also other societies um, based on your degree subject. There's also societies for interest groups like knitting or um, model UN or the debate society. Um, so really anything that you'd be interested in getting involved in. And um, we have societies that are available for you to join. And I'll move on now to talk about scholarships and funding and all of the money aspects of studying at the university, because it, obviously that's a very important part of the process for you. So for students who are coming to study with us at Sheffield, the postgraduate courses at the university are one year long. So they run from September to the following September. And the applications um, are available and the university website is open for applications from the, the previous September. So for example, if you want to come and study with us in September, 2025, applications will be open from this September, 2024. The applications are done through the university website. There is no charge to apply, so it's free to apply. And you can apply for multiple courses if you're not exactly sure what you want to study with us. So the applications can be done through the website. It's an easy application process. You just need to input your personal details and your education history. Um, as I said, you do not need to upload your final degree certificate or your English language qualifications at that stage. So it's very easy to do your application. And if you have any questions or concerns about it, I'm always available via email or via virtual video chat to be able to talk to you um, and help you through the process. So depending on what course you choose to study, the fees range from around £21,000 to just under £30,000. Keeping in mind that the postgraduate course is just one year in the UK. So although the fees can be expensive, you're only paying these for one year. So you can see the fee for your chosen course on the course webpage. Every single course we offer has its own page on the university website where you can see a breakdown, an overview of the course, what lessons you'll study, um, what careers students go on to, study, to, to work in after they graduate, and it will include the specific entry requirements, with what grade you need to get in your bachelor's degree, and then also the fees. So to help with these costs, we do have university scholarships. So we have the International Postgraduate Taught Merit Scholarship, and that's worth £10,000 off your tuition fees. So that would bring your fees down to between um, £11,000 and £20,000. We do also have an MBA scholarship if you are applying specifically for the MBA, and that is also £10,000. So for the Merit Scholarship, it's just a short application. So once you've done your application to the university and you have an offer to study with us, you can then apply for the scholarship. And the scholarship questions is just a couple of questions. Why do you want to study your course? And why do you want to study at the University of Sheffield? So um, we have 75 of these scholarships available. And as I said, it's 10,000 pounds off your tuition fees. If you are unsuccessful with that scholarship, we have a smaller scholarship available, which is worth £2,500. And there's no application for this. It's just you need to have accepted your offer by June of the year that you come to study with us. And then more importantly, in terms of our partnership with Golf Futuro, so we have a cooperative agreement with Colfuturo. We offer a 20% discount to all Colfuturo funded students who are starting a master's degree with us at the University of Sheffield. And then on top of that, we have two additional scholarships, which are worth £7,000 off your tuition fees um, for your year of study. 
So the scholarships are awarded on the basis of academic merit. Um, so we'll look at your academic transcript when we um, apply those two scholarships of £7,000. And applications are made directly to Call for Truro. So you apply to Call for Truro as normal. Um, and then once you've applied and you've got the, the funding, they will give us a list of all of the students who have applied and been successful. We'll always apply the 20% discount to your fees. And then you have the option um, of also winning one of two £7,000 scholarships as well. So all of those scholarships come from your course fees. Now, they cannot be stacked. So if you have the um, Call for Truro scholarship, the 20% discount and the £7,000, you're not also able to um, receive the £10,000 merit scholarship. So we always suggest that you apply for all of the options that you have available, and then you'll be given awarded the scholarship um, that has the highest amount. So the one that gives the most discount for you. And as well as your uh, tuition fees, the other thing you need to remember is your accommodation costs. So alongside your fees, you need to pay for your accommodation. For international students, we have guaranteed accommodation. So you don't need to worry about any lack of accommodation. And for PGT students, for postgraduate students, the accommodation is around £7,000 for the year. That includes all of your bills, so your gas, electricity, your internet, um, water, everything is included. It also includes 24 hours a day maintenance, if anything breaks, and 24 hours a day security. Although, as I said, Sheffield is a very safe city, so you don't need to worry too much about security. It also allows you to participate in something called residence life which is a free um, series of events and activities that run throughout the year. It's a good way to um, get to know your, your housemates, to make friends um, and to participate in the social side of university. You'll also have a residential mentor who stays at the university accommodation. Um, so they'll be available to answer any questions that you have if you have any problems or concerns. And your accommodation at the university is a private bedroom, so you don't share your room with anyone, and a private ensuite bathroom. And then it's laid out as an apartment with a shared kitchen and living space in the central area. And you'll usually share an apartment with between five to seven other students. And you can choose if you want those to be um, single sex or mixed gender accommodation. So you can choose who you want to live with and you'll be living only with other postgraduate students. So the undergraduate students live in separate accommodation. So if that's the university accommodation, um, there's lots of more information about it on the university website. But also if you would prefer to stay in private accommodation, um, we do have a team um, called Smart Move Sheffield and they're available to help you find private accommodation in the city. So you don't have to worry about trying to do that on your own. The university will help you find private accommodation and they will proofread your contract to make sure that there's no um, unpleasant small print um, and they'll help you do that. So it's entirely up to you which one you want to choose and um, either university or private accommodation is available. Okay, so that's everything from me. Um, I've put my email address up on the screen there, so you're welcome to email me after this session if you have any questions. And uh, you can also talk to our current students on the university website. So please do go onto the university website, type in chat, and you can talk to either other Colombian students or other students studying your course and find out more information about it from their perspective as well. Okay, thank you very much for uh, all the information that you have given us. Uh, we have a question here, uh, it's from Martina, and she asks, for conditional offers because of English proficiency, do you have alternatives to meet that requirement before starting the course? 
Yes, you do. So that's a really good question. Um, so you can, to meet your English language requirement, you can either do um, submit an English language test like TOEFL or IELTS um, or Cambridge IBT, or you have the option to do um, our um, English language classes before you start. So we have um, a center, a school for English language teaching, um, and you can register to attend that in advance. So for example, if you did um, an IELTS test and you were just maybe one level below what you needed, um, you could come, say, six weeks before the start of your course in September, and you could attend the ELTC, uh, and they would guarantee to get you up to um, the necessary level before you started. Another option as well for if you didn't quite meet the entry requirements for the course, you would also have the option to do a foundation before you start your degree. So that could be either at the... Um, you, University of Sheffield International College in Sheffield or at um, a partner uh, provider for, for foundation courses. So, and they do something called a pre-master's course and you could attend that if you didn't quite meet the entry requirements. But if anyone has any questions about that, please do get in touch with me and we can talk about your specific individual circumstances. Thank you so much. Um, we have some questions through social media. So uh, can students do an internship during the master's program? So you can do an internship while you study a master's program. Um, it is a little bit difficult in the UK because the master's program is only one year long. So um, it can be a lot to try and fit a internship in alongside your studies but you are able to work in the UK for up to 20 hours per week while you're studying um, during term time, and then for an unlimited amount of hours when you're outside of term time. So for example, over the summer period. So classes tend to run from um, September through to December, and then take up again in February and run through to around about May. So then over the summer, um, through June through to August, you would have usually a dissertation or a um, school project to write. But lots of students do choose to take up internship op opportunities while they're doing their dissertation. And for some courses, you are able to do a work placement dissertation. So you can um, do, do your work placement and you work for say two months over the summer with one of the university partners. And then you write your dissertation based on the work experience that you've done. So that is a really good option to be able to do an internship alongside your studies. That's perfect. And um, so Kate, according to our agreement, yeah, the agreement with Calcuturo, mm -hmm. how do you select those two, two students who will be receive uh, the, the money that you, that you mentioned? Okay, so that's another really good question. So um, the, the official answer is that we base it on merit. So it's based on your grade at your bachelor's level. And um, so when you do your application, if you have a high grade in your bachelor's, you're more likely to be awarded um, one of those two scholarships, the £7,000 scholarship. But the unofficial answer is also that we're really trying to promote our Colfuturo scholarships. And some years we don't have enough Colfuturo students to actually give away both scholarships, which is a real shame. So I would really recommend that students apply, um, apply to the University of Sheffield and apply for the Colfuturo funding because you have a very good chance of um, receiving one of those £7,000 scholarships. And that is on top of the 20% 20, 20 fee discount as well. Yeah, perfect. Kate, what candidates uh, can do to improve their chance of being admitted? So in the UK, you're, it's very transparent. The entry requirements will be listed on the course page. Um, so when you go onto the university website, and this is for any university in the UK, you should be able to type into um, a course finder 
the subject that you're interested in studying, and it will show you all of the courses available in that topic. On the course page, it will tell you what the entry requirements are. So um, as I said, for us, that's usually the equivalent of a 2-1 degree. That's how we grade our degrees in the UK. So that's a 3.8 out of 5 um, on your bachelor's degree, if you've taken it in Colombia. And then your English language test. So your degree usually needs to be related um, to the subject that you're interested in studying. So if you want to come and study engineering, for example, with us, you'll likely need to have done a bachelor's degree in an engineering subject. Um, or if you're interested in studying history, they'd like to see a bachelor's degree in a related arts and humanities subject. Um, once you meet those entry requirements, the, your uh, bachelor's degree grade and your English language qualification, you're almost guaranteed an offer. So it's very transparent that aren't extra tests or kind of any secret um, benefits or anything like that. It's mostly based on your academics, which is really good because it means that you're able to see in advance whether you will be likely to get an offer. Also, as part of your application, you will submit something called a personal statement. So as I said, you apply directly to the university and there's no charge for that. Um, and your personal statement is uploaded to your application. And this is just an opportunity for you to talk about why you want to apply for the subject, why you're passionate about it, um, your experience in that field so far, and maybe what career you're interested in going on to do after you graduate. Um, so we do read that and we take that into account um, and we reflect on you know, your enthusiasm and your experience. Um, but the majority of the attention is paid to your grades. So as long as you're meeting the entry requirements, you have a really, really good chance of getting an offer to study. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, your willingness, for your time. Uh, even though we have some technical problems, you gave us very valuable and necessary information. So we hope to see you in a next opportunity. Eh, a todos los asistentes, muchas gracias eh, por estar aquí, por sus preguntas y por su interés. Sé que la información que presentó Kate el día de hoy fue de gran utilidad. Así que no duden en seguir indagando al respecto, tanto en Colfutura como en la página de la Universidad de Chef. Muchas gracias a todos. Hasta luego. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, Kate. Thank you. Bye.